Well, these days, whether for your indoor decor or your outdoor garden, succulents have become very popular. So we want to check in with Melody McDaniel at Pike Nurseries this morning to uh, get some tips on how to use succulents and really get the most out of this. Good morning. Good morning. So what is a succulent, first of all? Great question. So a succulent is a plant that holds extra water in some part of its, its, its form. So either it's uh, the leaves, which is the most common, but sometimes it's the roots as well. So when you have a plant that holds extra water, Water, as the water is depleted, it has a storage of them. So it makes us have to water them less often. So not only are they cool, they're easy. Well, and a lot of times you just think of the really spiny cactuses mm -hmm. or cacti, whatever the case may be, but there are, there are lots of other options. So many, right. so many options. Uh, not only cactus, but also different succulents that have great textures. There are some, as the one in this hand, uh, this is actually a Semper Vivum called a Hens and Chicks. It's named that because the parent plant and the little ones that come off the side. This is a perennial here, so this is one that can be planted outside and okay. used year after year, and there are some that are more indoor friendly, so you want to first pick which ones you want. Mm -hmm. and the cool thing to me about the summer is we can mix and match those and they all do well outside Excellent. in the summer. So when you're planting, you'll see I started with an aloe in the middle and then the soil that I'm using here is a cactus mix soil. It's blended specifically to drain well okay. so that not a lot of extra water is held in there since they don't need it. They don't need it, right. One of the fun things to me about these is uh, you, can, you can't fail. Just mix and match, choose different colors and different textures and uh, you've got a great looking container. Yeah, so you've got something like this right here. So you can see how we've got some kind of coarse foliage, fuzzy, different you've got some, texture. yeah, and then a little bit of different colors in the, the greens and the variegations. Right, that's what's really stunning is because even though they are all shades of green, they're all very different shades of exactly. green. Exactly. <laughs> well, as far as the pebbles and the glass that you have back here, obviously that's going to make it look pretty, but does mm -hmm. it serve a purpose beyond just being decorative? Yeah, it actually will help hold moisture in, so you're not going to have to water these very often, and that just gives you an extended period to, to have no maintenance. Absolutely. That, uh, no maintenance is a very good thing. So if you want some help and a fun way to put one of these together yourself, do you have anything going on at Pike Nursery? We do. We have a DIY night for succulents. This is a different kind of class. It's at select locations, so we want you to go online and register because you're going to come in and make your own succulent container garden that you'll take home with you. That sounds like a lot of fun and a great way to accomplish this and maybe bring your friends into it also. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, Melody.